Welcome again, it's Good Looking Pete from Second Chance Sailing. Uh, I'm going to do a bit of a prepper video for you tonight. All these items have come up for renewal every three years. I'll uh, bring the old stuff to the front and put the old new stuff at the back, so I'll just replace a lot of the stuff. So we've always got the, the more uh, newer stuff in stock. To last another three, four, five, ten years, twenty years, however long we need to keep it, just in case, you know. Now, uh, just an update uh, on the channel, second channel sailing. It's good looking, Pete. Uh, Don's been down to see his uh, new boat today. Uh, he's having a bit of trouble with it. It turns out the gearbox is uh, totally gone. Uh, so sailing back's not going to be coming in the next few weeks, I don't think, unless we can get a gearbox. So if anybody's got £50,000 to lend it, no, it's <laughs> alright, we'll sell the gearbox. Uh, it's a Beta 30, and I think the gearbox is the same gearbox as uh, Yanama, Yanma uh, engine diesel. But we'll sort that out, there's no problems there. We can sort anything out on the suggest sailing, can say anybody needs any help. Give us a buzz on uh, YouTube and we'll try and help you if we can. Uh, we're still waiting for the parts coming for the windlass of Roy's. He's just waiting on the bearing coming. Hopefully that's here tomorrow and we can get that one sorted. But uh, it's a bit of a prepper video tonight. Uh, I'll show you through the stuff and show you what they look like when they've been stored for two, three, four years, whichever. Uh, all perfectly edible, eatable, whatever you want. Uh, I'm not sure about the noodles. I'm going to try them in a minute. <laughs> I've made them. I'll start with the noodles actually. Uh, these I purchased, I think, uh, five pence a packet, which is quite cheap. Uh, you've got instant noodles, tomato flavour. I say tomato, you say tomato for the yanks around. Uh, instant noodles, authentic original. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Instant noodles, mushroom. Not my favourite flavour, but uh, I'll try them. I prefer these kind, the uh, authentic Chinese ones, because there's not even any, not a lot of English writings on it. It's got chicken, it actually says chicken, and then it says, oh, a chicken pullet, and hum. I don't know what hum is, that must probably Chinese for chicken. Uh, all way out of date. Uh, these are about a year well, the second 2016, so as you know now it's the second 2017, so the year out of date. These are the ones I've actually already prepared. Pooh. Uh, they're not actually food in the first place, these noodles. <laughs> I don't think there's much nutritional value in them. Uh, but they're, they're, not, they're not bad actually. If you, if you were stuck and you had to eat these, I'd suggest something like uh, this stuff, chilli cooking sauce, that would mix very nice with your noodles and uh, make, probably make them taste a little bit more like uh, earthworms because they don't really look, look like maggots at the moment, but uh, we'll see in a second when I eat it, I'm not in a rush to eat this, it's still warm, no I actually do like noodles. But I like them like these because there's little, little packets in these and it gives them a bit of flavour. Always put some in your noodles, give it a bit of flavour, or else you'll soon get bored of them. But that's the noodles, like I say, five pence a packet, I think I bought 500 packets. So it's, they've, they've cost nothing, and then even in the two years' time, three years' time, uh, when I do my restocking, these can just be binned, because I won't be eating 500 packets in them. Uh, that's just the noodles, so I'll move them out of the way. Or throw them out of the way. Uh, no, move them out of the way. So we'll go through the sauces. Uh, sauces and uh, jams or whatever we've got. Uh, my wife asked for some uh, marmalade. We had no marmalade in the house. So I actually looked and we had about 50 jars anyway. Just, uh, lying around. I found these. Uh, these are Robinson marmalade. Uh, the was one pound nine, which is about a dollar and a half. Uh, two from March two thousand and thirteen on the date. Give it a second. March two thousand and thirteen. Not been opened. I just, none of my stuff's 
open so I'll, you'll see it in the, the state that it will be after uh, f two, three, four, five years. Uh, some things settle, some things don't. Marmalade doesn't settle, it's a jelly so it'll just stay exactly as it is. Uh, quick check, tin's alright, it's not spongy, it's not been opened, well it, I did actually open this but it's still down actually. Uh, I opened this about 20 minutes ago just to check it. Uh, 45 pence are paid for it, that's about a third of the price. Robinson's now is probably about two pounds to buy, so this uh, is uh, well worth keeping for the length of time. But as you see, I don't know if you can see. Very hard to see these. Perfect. It's not. It's not even any. There's no settling, and it's not watery or anything, which I don't expect uh, marmalade to be. And again, stick your finger in it. There's not a lot I can do with this. It tastes just like marmalade. Very nice, actually. I'll have that for me uh, toast in the morning. Good one to keep. Uh, shelf life on this, 10 years without, without uh, any messing whatsoever. Uh, plenty of calories in it, so a lot of sugar in it as well, a lot of sugar. Uh, I don't know if it says on it. They used to say it. That's a marmalade, cat's uh, whinging a bit. Another one I found. I don't know if you eat a lot of this in uh, America. They do in England. Very nice, actually. Uh, mustard pick a lily from Tesco. Cheap at the time. Uh, about 23 pence. Uh, now it's only probably, probably doubled now, actually, in price. Again, not been opened. Uh, date. We can see the date on that one. Let's leave it to settle. April 2014. So, 15, 16. Three years. Almost three years. Uh, it ain't, it's not going to settle very much, this. Plenty of calories in this one as well. Plenty of sugar in this one as well. Uh, ah. Right. Now that was on well. Ooh, scary. Actually, looks very nice, very tasty. I've not even smelt this. It's absolutely that one. It's twelve o'clock at night. That's all there. I do love piccalilli. Never tried mustard piccalilli, but I do like piccalilli anyway. I will be eating plenty of that tomorrow on my sandwiches. Another one. Silver skin, pickle silver skin onions. Forget it. 20 years, no messing. Uh, I don't even want to open these. They're only cheap anyway. They were only cheap. They're not cheap now. Uh, Tesco. Actually, I love the vinegar out of here, so I'm going to open this one now. Little tip for you what you to do with it is put a few holes on the top. Forget your vinegar putting on your chips. Use this stuff. The best stuff could win. Uh, clean rust off anything you want as well. 50-50 uh, solution of the stuff that's in here because it seeps out with the onions. Uh, any rusty parts, drop them in a bucket, 50-50 solution with this and water, you'll clean any rust off, verdigris off, off copper, brass, anything bronze, anything whatsoever. Uh, date on this, August 2014. That's like I say, I will open. <coughs> right. There's not a lot for you to see in a jar of onions. It's obviously got onions in it. <laughs> Smells beautiful, sweet, gorgeous. Another one I will be eating tomorrow. So from dead to next day, you know why. Next one. Uh, these chilli sauces. These are a bargain. 10 pence each I paid for these. Uh, home Pride, I think you're talking £1.50 now. So it was uh, 15 times cheaper. Uh, I did buy a bit too many of these. I think I've got 200 of these. It's not something I'd normally eat this chilli. 
not into chilli one bit, but as a mixing with rice or noodles, <laughs> uh, it'd be all right. So I've got so many of these. I think I can open. Yeah, okay, I can open this and throw it away. I won't, won't be eating this, but I'll test it just to show you. And we'll just see how it's set, settled. And again, would I have to get the worst tin opener in the country? We might do it. I won't cut here because it shouldn't take that long to open it. Right, I think we managed to get it open. Now this will always normally smell like muck. Let me get one of my little tools. Got a stay of that. Would you would you eat anything this man's prepared? Yeah. Ooh, it smells. It smells actually <laughs> how chilli smells. But I'm not into chilli, but uh, there's certainly nothing wrong with that. No dinner, I say. Smells perfect. It actually smells like you'd expect it to smell like. Like dog book. <laughs> Another one I couldn't find last time. When I was doing one, and I wanted to do a bit, a little bit on this. This is one of the best things that you can actually uh, store, and one of the best things perhaps you could have because you could use it in so many things. If you're making cakes, biscuits, anything whatsoever, even in your coffee, it doesn't really matter. If you need, if you need a sugar and you haven't got any, uh, honey's going to be the best one. Our only problem is in England. You, I don't know in America if it's any better. Uh, honey is very expensive. Real honey. This isn't real honey. This is uh, make believe honey. <laughs> it's actually probably got about 5% of honey. It's not pure honey. Simple as that. If you can get pure honey, get it. They'll have wax on top of pure honey to seal it. But uh, I wanted to show you this because the simple reason is not a lot of people know what happens to honey after a few years. Uh, date. September 2014. So, uh, 15, 16, 17, yeah, it's two years out of date, just over two years out of date anyway. Uh, this is what'll happen with your honey. Now, for anybody else who sees something like that, they, they're, cert they're never going to touch something like that and they think, I'm going to die. Look at all those spores in there. Something's happening in that jar, isn't it? Hey, look at the bomb. That's really bad. It's actually nothing wrong with that at all. Uh, that's how you'd expect to find even pure honey. Uh, after a few years, it will go like that. Quite good if you get any cuts or anything, spread this on it and it'll uh, cure you. But uh, I'll have to open this one. I didn't get many of these. I think I've probably got about 40 jars of honey. I wish I'd have actually bought a lot more at the time because it really has gone up in value now. The other one is uh, maple syrup if you can get it, especially in America and Canada. Get all of that stuff, that's another godsend. But uh, we'll open this. Alright. Oh, scary. You see that drop then? <laughs> that was amazing how it dropped then. Hey, ooh, what's in there? Uh, honey. Uh, my problem is, I'm going to have to use my fork, because I'll give it a stare. Ooh. Something growing in there, I don't know what it is. I wonder what that tastes like. Honey and noodles. And as you can see, well, you can see it, it is on there. Tastes, tastes like honey. Very sweet. Crystallise a bit inside, but I wouldn't worry about that. Give it a good. Uh, actually, the thing to do with this first thing I would do with this uh, is loosen the jar a little bit, loosen, loosen the lid a little bit, and put it in a, a pan of boiling water. This will just render it all back down to pure honey, simple as that. Even the crystallised stuff will, with a good stir, will be all right. But honey, very good one to have. I'll be using that. 
So here's your big test. I know you've all been waiting for this one. Ooh. You can't actually see me eating, so I could be throwing this. Oh, oh no, I could be throwing this over my shoulder. No, I'm not actually. I'll try and bring my head in. I don't know. You don't think you'll see my big head? You can see it going in my mouth. See it going in my mouth. It tastes perfect. Very nice. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with this. It tastes perfect. So there's just a few just here to show you. Don't be worried, please. Don't be worried about eating stuff this hour of date. Well, it's best by date most of the time anyway. It's just they want to restock the shelves every 6, 12 months. And they don't want you to keep in your house for 6 or 12 years. So they want you to just keep buying, buying, buying. Consume, consume. It's up to you. Uh, if need be now, like I say, we could last certainly one year, maybe two years at a push. There's not many people can say that, and it's not cost a lot of money, because like I say, we do uh, replace it every three, four years with newer stuff, and then either eat the stuff or just throw it away, because it does cost pennies. Uh, I've got a lot more stuff coming this week, I'll uh, do a video on that, and show you the prices. How, how much cheaper it is if you want to get it like that as again there will be a link below for uh, places where you can get all this out of date food or going out of date, some of it's not even out of date a lot cheaper than buying it anywhere else uh, I will ask anybody to uh, like our videos or share them there's a share below the video click that and anybody you've got on your list will get a, a link to it in case they like it uh, thumbs up if you like it, thumbs down if you don't, it's totally up to you. Uh, and that's about it. We're not uh, like a lot of the other channels that are going to be minding you for money every five minutes. Uh, one thing we may need in about the next 12 months is a decent camera, because I want a camera that can film all day. But uh, we may pick one up ourselves, or we may ask for uh, PayPal taps to maybe help towards it. It's not going to be an expensive camera, we're not after a thousand pound camera, we're only probably asked for a hundred, hundred and fifty pounds to get a decent camera. But it's up to you, we don't need it at the moment, we're going to try getting long as we are, we've got a few expenses, now summer's coming, we're, here ne we're there next week doing Lady Ellen, big job on it, I'll be filming all that, we're doing the uh, anti-fouling, painting the top, and about seven million other jobs, but uh, we'll get through them, don't worry. Uh, you can meet the full crew next week. We've got a few new members, so see you then. Bye from Good Looking Pete. <laughs> Bye from Good Looking Pete. Got it right second time. Second chance sailing. See you soon. Just a quick one. It's Sunday afternoon. I'm just going to try. Uh, Tesco everyday value ready to serve custard. It's three years old. Uh, well, let's see if it's got any better taste with age. It tastes like crap in the first place. The custard don't kill me, the bananas will. I think I might have warmed the custard up first, my velts. <laughs> oh, I did warm it up actually. Yeah, it tastes very nice. See you soon. Yeah, it's finished. I wasn't going to make you wait through me munching away through it all, but uh, I finished it off. It's very nice actually. Because I'm a bit more sugar on it. As you can see, you can eat food that's out of date, no problem. I'm going to try going through each one and put all these films together. Someone might be interested in them. So, Tesco, everyday value, ready to just serve custard. That's about 11 pence when we bought it. Uh, three years ago, the date, I can't, November 2014.
the bottom. So we're not done bad. See you soon.